Tom Latham is uh, the current congressman from the 4th District. Uh, we lost a congressional seat, and now Congressman Latham is going to be representing us in the future in the 3rd District after he defeats Congressman Leonard Boswell. It's going to be a tough race, but I have no doubts that Congressman Latham will come out victorious. Congressman Latham, come on up. Share your thoughts. Tell us what's on your mind. Tell us about Iowa and Strouple. Thanks for coming. Okay, well, thank you very much, uh, Craig. It's great to be here. And uh, uh, first of all, I should welcome you to the 4th Congressional District, Ames, which I live about four blocks south of here. So um, uh, this is home. Uh, spend a lot of money while you're here. Have fun. Uh, but uh, this, this is such a great event, uh, really a uh, display of grassroots democracy at work here today. And to see the, the turnout, the interest, uh, the enthusiasm, the excitement of what's going on. Because I think we all understand as conservatives, as Republicans, that we have got to have the kind of change that will grow our economy in the future, that will actually create jobs, have a better life for our kids, our grandchildren. And that's why I think we're seeing everything come together today in such a uh, dynamic way. I, I would just ask one question here of anybody. If we continue on the path we're on today, how many of you think that, or how many of you, first of all, think that you have a better life than, than what your parents did? Anybody? Huh? How, how many of you think if we continue the path we're on that our ch kids, our grandchildren are going to have a better life? I, I haven't heard anybody say that if we continue the path we're on, that uh, we th there's going to be opportunities for the next generations. And that's why it's absolutely critical that we get a handle on spending in Washington, create the kind of policies that will actually grow this economy, get the government off the backs of the small business people uh, to understand that the regulatory, but you know what? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Craig. Hey. <laughs> uh, Everybody understands that what this administration can't do by legislation with the control that we have in the House of Representatives, they're going to do by regulation. And try whether it's the EPA, whether it's the Dodd-Frank bill that's going to shut down credit in this country, uh, it, all of these things that they're going to try and do to stifle growth and opportunity in this country. It is simply wrong. We've got to reverse it. And that's why I think everyone here today is so excited about the they see the clear mandate going forward to change Washington, to have people in Washington actually listen to the American people. And if that's one thing I hear continuously, that Washington is totally out of control. No one is listening. No one's paying attention to what the real problems are for real people. And that's what we've got to change in this country. So uh, I just look forward to being a part of, of growing this country again, giving opportunities, and uh, we need to change what's uh, the President of the United States. We need to have a majority in the Senate. We can repeal the President's health care bill. We can get uh, the regulatory burden off the back of the American people. We can have a uh, tax code that actually will grow the economy rather than stifle it. And that's what we need to do. But it's going to take real change in Washington. That's why this is such a great day. Just very, very pleased to be here today. And uh, again, welcome to the 4th Congressional District. Thank you.